welcome to this session of rapid prototyping in this session we will going to discuss electron beam melting in previous session we have discussed sls process selective laser sintering which was part of powder based fusion techniques in this session we are discussing another technique of powder based fusion electron beam melting now in sls selective laser sintering we were using sintering mechanism to join different parts whereas in electro beam electron beam melting we are using melting to join different parts to join different particles and make a part so this electron beam melting technology was uh, developed as kalmar's university of technology in sweden at this was commercialized by arkem ab which is also a company of sweden in 2001 so electron beam melting is comparatively new technique it is only a 20 year old technique how this electron beam melting electron beam melting is working so electron beam melting uses a high energy electron beam in selective laser sintering we are using select uh, lasers so lasers means there will be light particles so there will be photons imparting which will have very less mass whereas electron compared to photon will have very huge mass so we are using electron instead of photons and we are using beam of electron so this beam of electron will induce fusion between metal powder particles now selective laser sintering we can use metal particles to we can uh, manufacture parts with metal with electro uh, selective laser sintering but uh, there will be some limitations of this uh, laser sintering process so instead of using sintering with metal we can simply melt the metal with high energy so that is what we are doing in electron beam melting and uh, to if you want to manufacture parts with a uh, high uh, melting temperatures then uh, this electron beam melting is a better option than the laser sintering option so what will be the arrangement of this uh, electron beam melting so this diagram shows the arrangement of equipment in which on top we will have electron beam generating uh, equipment so this is our basically electron gun in which there will be a filament there will be a grid cup and there will be an anode this filament will be heated and the heat will free the electron from the anode and then this uh, electrons that are generated uh, in the filaments in the grid cup due to the anode is the anode will have positive charge sorry the anode will have this negative charge the electron also will have negative charge so the electron will move downwards now many of you might say that anode will have positive charge but if you have remembered your uh, fundamentals of electrical uh, clearly then you will remember that although we are saying that anode is plus actually there will be minus so this electron beam will travel and we will focus this electron beam using the focusing coil we are using magnetism to focus this electron beam and then there will be deflection coils which will further focus this electron beam so we are using magnets instead of mirrors remember that this is the difference between electron beam and laser so in electron beam we are using in electron beam we are use, actually using here we are using magnets we are use, we are using magnetic field instead of our mirror to reflect and direct the electron beam now all this arrangement will be in a vacuum chamber so electron beam will impart on the build platform where the powder 
layer will be there and whenever the beam strikes the powder will be melted and it will solidify and it will produce a solid uh, when the beam is striking on the other area the powder will be in uh, uh, powder form only the powder will not get solidified so this is the powder hopper where from which at the powder for next layer will be uh, uh, supplied so once you get a layer of solid parts where you want the powder from hopper will be layered on this build platform another layer of powder will be there and the beam will again uh, solidify the area where we want our part to be solid so this is the process of electron beam melting now this shows how the electron beam melting is progressing so this is our uh, equipment from where the electron beam will come and this is the layering of powder and we are get, getting a part so here you can observe the electron beam is there here all the magnetic arrangement will be there and they will guide exactly where the electron beam should be so and it this all this entire arrangement will be in a vacuum chamber so this this is how the electron beam melting is working so here this is just a rack to give the so rack is adding another layer of powder only and this is the hopper from where the powder is coming now how the process is working so as i have explained the electron beam is fired at the metal powder and the electron beam will be controlled by computers and the layer by layer this uh, electrons kinetic energy will be converted into the heat energy and the powder will melt once the layer is melted on this layer the next layer is uh, next layer of powder is given and the next layer is melted and hence we can get a solid part so this is a typical specification of this arcam ebm s20 machine which is uh, an industry standard machine here you can see that speed of electron beam scan is up to 1 km per second which is very high which is very high where laser scanning speed of laser will be very low so this speed scanning speed will be very high in case of electron beam also the power supply required will be comparatively low because electron beam uh, generation is uh, energy efficient more energy efficient then laser generation so that is also an advantage this is the machine uh, for which we have seen the uh, specification so this model ebm s20 this is the model ebm s20 and this is its vacuum chamber where the electron beam from top will be striked and this is where the part will be built this is the a hopper from where powder will come the here you can see the roller which will roll over this powder now what are the advantages of electron beam melting as i have told you the speed scanning speed of, of electron beam can be up to 1000 meter per second or 1 km per second it can be even higher than that so high scanning speed is an advantage metals can be used even we can use titanium with this electron beam melting which is an advantage this is more efficient process than laser so power consumption will be less as compared to laser and 
as we have seen in sls powder wave fusion techniques do not require support structure because the powder itself will act as a support structure so these are the advantages of electron beam welding now there are also some disadvantages the first is the powder bed must be conductive why because when electrons are imparting on the bed the so the bed will continuously gain negative charge and due to this the gaining of negative charge the new electrons which are coming will repel and also the bed itself the powder particles itself will gain negative charge and they will start to repel each other so to avoid this all those uh, extra electrons the negative charge that is coming must be uh, neutralized must be earth and for that powder bed must be conductive uh, with uh, electro beam melting we can only use metal because they are conducting where with laser we can use any material that can absorb laser for example metals polymers and ceramics so this is also a disadvantage this disadvantage is related to the requirement of conductive material and also if we compare it to laser then electron beam melting will have poor surface finish and poor resolution so compared to laser surface finish and resolution will be less but it is very fast than the laser technique laser sintering technique where we can use this electron beam melting so people have used it in aerospace industry uh, some of them have used it for hip top uh, in orthopedic industry so in uh, uh, orthopedic in medical uh, industry uh, you must have heard that some of your relative who are normally with uh, uh, more age who are aged they have gone undergone hip cup replacement or cup replacement so those cup can be made from this electron beam melding uh, tool steel injection and compression molding tools can be also manufactured because uh, we are uh, we can manufacture metals with electron beam melding so this molding tools can be manufactured and sometimes even functional prototypes of metals and components in small batches can also be manufactured so these are different application areas of electron beam melting so this will be it for today's session till then happy learning